Alright guys, uh, last night, as I said, with uh, my review of uh, Final Fantasy XIII 2, um, I also rented Soul Calibur V, so I'm going to be doing a little review of that, uh, giving my first thoughts and stuff. Um, I have decided uh, with this review that I'm basically just going to break it down by uh, it's a separate thing, so... Well, let's uh, get started. Um, first here with uh, the sound and music. Um, if you compare it to Soul Calibur IV, um, uh, it, it sounds pretty much the same. Um, there is a little bit of a darker overtone with uh, the music and stuff, but um, the sound effects, um, they seem to be dead on. Um, really similar to uh, what they were with... Uh, Soul Calibur 4, um, most of the returning characters are played by different voice actors, um, which is kind of good, kind of bad, um, like, uh, Tyra in this one, uh, she sounds really good, um, I don't even think it's the same voice actor, it might be, but, um, if it is, then, uh, she uh, she stopped uh, inhaling uh, some helium, so kind of a neutral one, I'd say, is uh, probably the new voice for Siegfried. Um, it, it's not bad or anything. Um, it does kind of sound like a Siegfried type voice. Um, however, um, I I do kind of wish that they would have uh, at least uh, tried a little better to keep the same voice actor from a. Uh, Soul Calibur 4, at least uh, for the vo for the English voice, so. Um, the English voice for um, Nightmare downright sucks, I think. Um, he really doesn't uh, sound like he did in uh, Soul Calibur 4. Um, uh, granted, he does sound um, a little more ominous and stuff than uh, usual, but... Um, Really, um, th they should have, uh, worked a little bit better with, uh, with him, so. Um, his voice doesn't sound, uh, quite as dark or as gravelly or anything like that. Um, granted, he's not, like, a soprano or anything, but, you know. Graphics-wise, um, it, it still uses the Havoc engine, I gotta say that first, um, but, um, it is a little darker than um, Soul Calibur 4 was. Um, in fact, um, the main color theme, I think, is uh, probably black. And uh, in Soul Calibur 4, it was uh, more of a reddish orange. So, weird thing is, in the uh, settings, you can uh, set it to have a lower brightness, which... Uh, it's kind of like, you, you know, it, it's dark enough, you know, you, you don't have to make it darker. Um, and um, it does look a little more sharp, but I kind of think that um, they kind of manipulated it a little bit, um, boosting up the uh, contrast like a whole bunch. So it still has breakable armor, which is really good. I, I'm really glad that they decided not to take that out, so. In fact, uh, when the armor breaks, um, it tends to break up into more little pieces that you can actually see, so. Um, the other thing is that um, there's more stuff in the actual stage that you could break. Like, um, uh, if there's like a little uh, crosswire fence or whatever, you can knock it down and uh, uh, you can more easily throw somebody out of the ring with that. So, um, and yes, you, you can still get rig outs in this one, which is uh, also a very good thing. So, however, um, with the returning characters, um, there is, I would say, less actual returning characters from. Uh, from Soul Calibur 4, but, um, and, and that, uh, really disappoints me in a way because, uh, Takai is, uh, not one of the ones that comes back. Um, but the ones that do come back, um, they, they just look 
kind of awful, I think, so. Um, like, uh, Mr. Guri, um, he's not quite as bad as, uh, some of the other ones, um, he, um, he basically looks the same as, uh, his first form in Soul Calibur 4 with, uh, the, uh, second form that he has, um, uh, for his hair or so, um, and, uh, for Tyra, um, her first form, uh, the one, uh, that you fight throughout the game is, uh, is actually her Jesser form, which, uh, is her second form, so, but, um, <laughs> yeah, um, with, uh, like, Nightmare of Siegfried, um, even though their armor hasn't changed, um, there's just something about it I, I really don't like about it, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's, uh, because of the, uh, dark overtone and stuff, and, they they just don't look right or whatever, so the rest um I'll put into kind of a gameplay um category, so um uh one um story mode um that has really changed uh from like uh the previous Soul Colors. Um instead of uh going through a story with uh, each individual character, um you basically uh get a choice of uh like one uh, storyline, then uh, if you totally complete it, you can do the next storyline, and so on and so forth. And um, you get one character for the entire battle. Um, it's not like uh, you get backups and stuff for this one. So, um, and usually um, the fights that you get into, um, if it's versus one individual enemy, then uh, you have to. Uh, like win like uh, three out of five against them, and and if there's um individual enemies like uh, uh three or four weak people um <coughs> you have to fight um all of those in like uh, one round each. So um, if you lose like uh, the first fight, then obviously you got to do uh, the entire thing all over again. But uh. If you lose, like, a save versus, uh, um, your second or third enemy, then, uh, you don't have to go back and fight your first enemy. You can just retry it, so, um, one thing I get to say about this is that there is no difficulty setting, so the game progresses as you progress, so, um, is it's not like, uh, in the, uh, when previously Soul Calibur 4 where um you would get like uh certain levels for weapons or whatever and uh you could stay on like normal setting and uh just beat the crap out of enemies uh really fast and stuff. Um with this one um uh if you get to like say level two or whatever then the enemies will be fighting you at level two and uh Level 3, same thing with level 3, um, I think if you get to, like, level, it's either 5 or 9 or whatever, um, then the enemies will, uh, will just, uh, be at their maximum, so, um, but, um, there is a good thing about that, um, if you do lose, uh, during the match, um, you can always uh, set it to a lower difficulty level in a retry, so... Um, so if you get stuck in a really tight spot where um, you're trying to go through really quickly and uh, say Nightmare is your last guy, then uh, you can just uh, go all the way through and uh, get beaten and then set him to, like, a, you know, a level lower than you were whatever, so... But there is more story element to the uh, storyline thing. Um, it it actually has a point to uh, every single person going through that you want to go through with. So, um, not everybody that you will meet, um, you'll actually be fighting. Um, some people just show up and uh, just decide to have a little conversation with you. Um, some people, uh, of course, you do have to fight. Um, 
And unlike uh, the previous Soul Calibers, um, sometimes you will have to fight uh, people like multiple times. Um, I don't mean like uh, shadows or whatever. Um, I think uh, the uh, one storyline that I went through, um, well, most of the way through, um, I think I had to fight Voldo in like a uh, fight f five. And uh, then they get in fight eight or something like that. Um, so um, even though you beat somebody, um, that doesn't mean that uh, they're gone for the entire storyline. So, and yeah, that that is one thing that uh, kind of makes me a little miffed with it. Um, granted, the stories are a little more complex and stuff, but. Uh, <sighs> The uh, the actual fights are just way too long. Um, granted, uh, every time that you uh, actually finish a fight, it saves for you. But um, still, uh, the actual storyline. Um, I think the the one that I'm um, I'm in right now. I'm 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 definitely not going to be able to play through the entire thing for you guys when I do my lead demo. Um, I think um, I got up to like a chapter 13 and when I looked it said that I was 47% complete with the storyline so um, I I don't know if I, I'll get up to like 98% or whatever then I, I'll say the storyline is uh, kind of over then it'll give me a chance to, to go back and finish up with uh, some of the other people or uh, maybe when I get up to a uh, 50% it's gonna do the same thing or or what but uh, anyways um stories uh they just seem to take too long for me so because I'm kind of running out of time with this um I'll just uh, leave most of the stuff for uh when I actually go through and do my uh, let's demo uh, probably uh, later in the week or whatever um uh, <coughs> however, um, I think I'll, uh, add a little thing here at the ending, uh, with probably the best aspect of this game is that it really increased, uh, um, the character creation, so, um, you can do a lot more customizing than you could in, uh, the previous ones, like, uh, Soul Calibur 4 or whatever, um, you can give them about as many uh, hairstyles, um, about as many uh, facial structures, um, same thing with uh, the actual uh, pieces of armor that they have, um, but um, the uh, weapons do um, look a little better. Um, granted, um, you don't see um, like uh, what their actual uh, improvements are for you, like uh, they uh, really increase your speed or your power or your hit points or do a whole bunch of defense or whatever and uh, I just think it's a really good thing because uh, it has a really good um, customization for your voices so um, a lot better than uh, the previous ones um, plus um, you can do do things like uh, add stickers, um, shape their eyebrows, um, you can uh, put on makeup for, for women, um, and one of the uh, really awesome things that I found is that uh, you can uh, manipulate the uh, people's heights. Um, you can uh, basically make them a giant, um, or you can basically make them a midget, so... Um, of course, uh, you couldn't make them, uh, like, an average size or whatever, but, um, oh, and, um, although you, you don't get quite the, um, ability to, um, change, uh, what their, uh, thickness and stuff is, um, basically you, you just get a choice between, uh, like a thin person or somebody that's, uh, really big or whatever, but... Anyways, um, oh crap, I'm out of time, so, um, yeah, I will, uh, see you later, so.